Hi, this is Josh from MYOB Enterprise Solutions. This video is an overview of how to set up and use the bank feeds features in MYOB Advanced. The bank feeds function uses MYOB's online services to import transactions from your bank or credit card statement into a cash account in MYOB Advanced for reconciliation. Before you can begin importing transactions, you'll need to create and process a bank feed application. Any user who's going to apply for bank feeds will need a secure authentication login if they don't already have one, and they'll need to be authorised for bank feed applications. A site administrator will need to send a request for authorization to MYOB Sales Operations on their behalf using the Authorize MYOB Admin button on the Users screen. Once they're authorized, a user can go to the Apply for Bank Feed screen and create a new application record. There are two types of application, paper, where you generate a printed bank feed application form and submit it for processing, and online, where you set up bank feeds at the website for the institution you're connecting to using a special passcode generated by Advanced. Which type of application you create depends on the financial institution that you select here. In many cases, institutions only offer one method, in which case the application type options here will be read-only. In cases where an institution offers both methods, like this one, the options will be editable and you can select the method you prefer. In a paper application, extra fields appear for other required information like an account name and number, and possibly other details like a BSB number in Australia. Note that the account name is the name that appears on statements for the account, not the name of the account holder or the type of account. The cash account that the bank feed will import transactions into can also be specified here, but it isn't needed yet. Once all the details have been entered, save the application record, then click Submit from the Actions drop-down. This registers the application with MYOB's online services. Once the submission is received, the application status changes to Pending Awaiting Application Form. You can now click the Download action to download a client application form containing details of the application. This form must be printed out and signed by an approved signatory of the specified account. After that, a scanned copy of the signed form needs to be uploaded to the application. Use the Upload action to do this. If you need to make corrections to the form, you can upload a new copy. The system will always use the most recently uploaded form. Once the form has been signed, scanned and uploaded, the application will be processed by MYOB. In an online application, no extra details are needed. Again, you can select a cash account for the bank feed now, but you don't need to yet. Once the application's been saved, click Submit from the Actions drop-down to register the application with MYOB's online services and generate an online passcode, which you'll need to set up the bank feed online. This code is specific to the financial institution you've selected, but it can be used to set up feeds for multiple accounts from that institution. Note down the passcode, then follow this link to go to the financial institution's website and set up the bank feed there. The exact details of how to set up the feed will differ from site to site, but in general you'll need to log into the website, then select the account or accounts that you want to set up bank feeds for. You'll need to select MYOB Advanced as the product that they're connecting to, and you'll need to enter the online passcode from Advanced. Once you've set things up here, the bank feed will be processed by MYOB. The Track Bank Feed Application screen shows an overview of all bank feeds in their current status. Click the Refresh button to poll MYOB's online service for any status updates. Remember that for online accounts, you can use the passcode from a single application to set up bank feeds for multiple accounts. In these cases, extra bank feed applications will be created automatically once the applications have been processed. As a feed is processed, it will progress through the pending status before returning a status of success, rejected or failure. A rejected application can still be processed. The rejected status usually means that there was a problem with the application form for a paper application, so you'll need to upload a new corrected copy and resend it. A failed application can't be resent, however. The failure status most commonly means there was a problem with the account details you entered when setting up a paper application, so you'll need to create a brand new application with the correct details and process it again from the beginning. If the application is successful though, then you can activate the bank feed and begin using it to import transactions straight away. To activate a bank feed, return to the Apply for Bank Feed screen and select Activate from the Actions drop-down. If you haven't chosen the cash account that the feed will import transactions into yet, you'll need to do that now. Note that each cash account can only have one bank feed associated with it. To import transactions from the bank feed into the chosen account, go to the Manage Bank Feeds form. While users need special authorization to apply for a bank feed, once the feed's set up, any users with access to the screen can use it to import transactions. All active bank feeds appear in the main table here. 
Feeds with the status Bank Feed Ready have transactions that are available for importing. Tick the boxes for the feeds you want to import and click Import Selected Feeds or just click Import All Active Feeds. The progress of each import appears in this column. If any errors occur during the import process, they'll appear on the Import Errors tab. Once the transactions have been imported, they'll appear on the Import Bank Transactions screen, where they can be reconciled as with any other transactions. And that concludes our look at the BankFeeds features in MYOB Advanced. More detailed information on this topic can be found in the BankFeeds white paper, which is available on the MYOB Advanced Education Centre website. Thanks for watching.